back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hi guys, so I am here today to do a book review and the book that I am going to be reviewing is The Magician King, which is the second one in the Magician series by Lev Grossman. And if you've seen my review of the first one, you might wonder why I even bothered continuing on with the series. But the reason that I continued on with the series, despite having given the first only a two star rating, was because I am doing this as a buddy read with various different people. Chris from The Reading Rose and PT from PT Hilton. Also, Lindsay and Sana are joining in with chatting about it with us. And I think Michael from Bitten by a Radioactive Book is also reading it too. We had quite a good group and I will link them all down below for you guys. That is the main reason that I continued on with this series, despite having given the first two out of five stars. That and I already had the second book because I thought I was going to really love it. I am really glad that I continued on with the series because I actually was very, very surprised by the second book. I felt like it was a big, big improvement on the first. And there were a lot of things that were right in the second book in terms of what I like in a book, as opposed to the first, which really didn't feel developed and didn't feel like an engaging and exciting read to me. This story is once again following the main character, Quentin, who is in the first book as well, and I assume will be in the third. He is our main character, and in the first book, he went to a school called Breakbills, which is all about learning magic. And he went on some various different adventures all over the place, ended up in a completely new place called Fillory and that is where we pick up his story in this book. So Fillory is a magical world which is really really crazy, awesome, there's a lot of very cool things and it's based off of the world of Narnia and I really enjoy reading about it because Narnia I really liked when I was younger as well so this is a kind of refresher and it's quite entertaining and we pick up Quentin's story when he is actually a big part of Fillory and he's really enjoying living his life there, but he kind of wants more. Even though he's enjoying where he is and he's enjoying being in the world, he wants a bit more from this world and he definitely wants to go on some sort of an adventure. And so when the opportunity does arise for an adventure to the outer island, he takes it with both hands. Of course, things don't always go as planned and when he gets to the island, various things happen which lead him back to places he'd rather not revisit and he ends up on a massive adventure across various worlds which he never really could have anticipated the scope of. This adventure is so much fun and the book as a whole is so, so much better than the first. I feel like since the ending of the first book, Quentin has definitely developed as a character. He's learning more from his mistakes and he's definitely more sure of what he wants in the world, which is really good because at the first book he kept flipping from what he wants and what he was going to do back and forth and we never really knew what he was aiming to do as an end goal. Whereas this book we definitely know what his aim is and we definitely know what he's trying to do and he certainly grows as a character. He starts to understand his friends a little bit more and he starts to understand his place in the world and what he wants to do with his life. So I really, really enjoyed seeing him develop as a character and I thought it was excellently done as opposed to the first book where I was quite disappointed with the lack of character development. In this story, we also focus on another character who is called Julia. We meet her very briefly in the first book, but she's not a major part, whereas this book she takes kind of equal precedence with Quentin and I really enjoyed Julia's storyline. Julia's storyline is based in the past because since we haven't seen her for most of the first book, we don't really know what's happened with her, we don't really understand how she got to where she is. So her storyline is recounting her life since Quentin last saw her and it's really, really interesting. She's been through some really dark things, some very, very crap things, and she's definitely not had the nicest of lives, but she's sort of fought her position every step of the way, and she's got to where she is today because of everything that happened. And I really enjoyed seeing her storyline far more than Quentin's, although Quentin's was more interesting in this one. Certainly Julia was the one who made this story much more entertaining for me than the first, and I really loved seeing all of her different connections to the magical world and how she ended up where she is today. The story itself is really, really well written. I did enjoy the story in the first one as well. It was mainly the characters I hated, but this one, the story is more entertaining. Definitely feels like an adventure all over the place where they're constantly going from one place to the next, searching for various things. And there's always a kind of goal of where they need to be in a mission. And I really enjoyed seeing that. I felt like the world building was really good and just generally the plot was entertaining. There were a few surprises that I didn't anticipate and I did feel like it was really quite a well-written book and I enjoyed it a lot. 
The pacing of book number two as well also seemed a lot better to me. In book number one we see a large spread of years in a very short amount of time and pages, which for me was a big problem because it lacked development. Whereas book number two we focus more on this one adventure that they're going on and the backstory of Julia and therefore it's so much easier to get in with the characters and see them develop and see them engage with the plot that they are on. And I really really enjoyed it. I felt like the pacing was much slower but a lot better and just very very good in terms of development as opposed to book number one. <laughs> so of course as you may have guessed this is going to be higher than a two star rating. I actually ended up giving The Magician King a four out of five star rating. I really enjoyed it. I will definitely be continuing on with The Magician's Land in March and I cannot wait to read that and find out what I think of the ending of the trilogy. So I am very very glad and although I told you guys that I really wouldn't recommend the series when I did my first review, if that didn't entirely put you off then I would say that the second book is actually very very good and if you don't like the first book in the series that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to dislike the series as a whole because it does seem to be a series that is much better read as a kind of continuation as opposed to just the single book on its own. So I would definitely recommend picking up the second one and then maybe the third because I haven't read it yet, I don't know. But the second one was a really good book and I did enjoy it a lot so I will be continuing. I would love to hear your thoughts on the series if you have read it or if you want to continue on now that you've heard this review but you didn't like the first one. Definitely leave me your thoughts. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat. Oh,